This video is sponsored by shopcarls.com, AKA Carl's Bait and Tackle. Carl's Bait and Tackle is basically a central for all your fishing gear. You can get rods, reels, line, baits, pretty much whatever you need, Carl's has it. You can also sign up to become a Carl's Club member where you get up to 30% off on pretty much everything in the store. And trust me y'all, your bank account will thank you. Go check out shopcarls.com linked down below. What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here, back to you with another video. Hope y'all are well, hope y'all are living it. Catch some fish out here. Y'all today I'm here with Mitchell and uh, we are on Lake Harding, uh, yep. and we are gonna be doing some shoal bass fishing, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, throwing a wide variety of baits. It is starting to rain, but I feel like it's going that way. It's gonna pass real quick, if I'm not mistaken. But we got the boat over here. Um, Mitchell, get it, got, we got us all set up, all rigged up. We're ready to go, so. The old Carolina skiff. Old Carolina skiff. Tell us about, tell us a quick before we get out what, what this water's about. So we're way up river on, on Lake Harding, up in the Chattahoochee targeting shoal bass. And shoal bass are only found in the Chattahoochee River system and the Flint River system down in Georgia. Gotcha. They're a lot like smallmouth. They're super fun. Uh, they're definitely a fish you want to check off your bucket list if you're going for okay. the black bass land. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah. so yeah, I've actually never caught a shoal bass. Um, so that's going to be something new, but we're going to get into it today. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to um, load up the boat right now and get out on the water. And uh, I feel like this rain could actually be a little helpful for us i don't know it's really cool out right now which i'm we're surprised about cool in the summer in alabama i know weird. dude it's crazy <laughs> all right y'all we're gonna get out on the water and i'll see y'all on the gopro be positive just fish all right folks so we are out on the water right now just got the boat um all in successfully for that matter and we got a good day for us today overcast and it just is drizzling on and off but that's all right um we're gonna get into some fish today though i'm calling it. it's kind of cool out not gonna lie not too hot um like it's been the last three weeks i've been here but it's i think we're gonna have a good day especially pitching like frogs underneath the overhanging trees wacky rigs um a little guggen bait drag and drops things along those lines spinner baits um all that kind of stuff we're gonna figure it out today and get on some shoal bass and get me my first one so uh we're gonna have a good day let's let's get into it Yeah. Giant. <laughs> Ten. Well, there we have it, folks. That is number one for me on the Guggen Rattling Ned. Hopefully, we get into some here. There we have it, folks. First spotted bass of the day for me. See you, dude. Oh. That's not a bad one. Not at all. Please stay pinned this time. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Don't go under the boat. We don't want that to happen. Please stay pinned. Please stay that's pinned. Good, that's a good show. That is a good show. <sighs> we got to land this guy. He's pretty nice, dude. He is pretty nice. You got it? Yeah, well. Ooh, that's a good one, dude. Ain't too bad. My PB for sure. Please don't I break. <laughs> I know, spit it. Ah! Yes! Let's go, dude. Yes, sir. He's barely hooked. I mean, he was hooked decent, but... That's a solid one, dude. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's what we're talking... Oh, I just fell over. <sighs> that's what we're talking about, folks. That's a good sholey for me. Um, boom, for sure, folks. That's what we're talking about right there Looks on the like net a rig. It? Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. But it, it kind of feels like a hybrid between a largemouth and a, sm a yeah. smallmouth. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let's go. Yes. 
That's what we're talking about. I need a picture. Let's go, guys. That is what we're talking about. Great fight, by the way. We're going to get the release on him. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, and she's ready to go. He was he was right next to that rock. Yeah, like, that doesn't surprise me. I literally cast it right up on the rock. Like, almost hit the rock. There should be a fish. Got him. There we go. That, that might be a shoaly. Might be a shoaly. There we go, folks. There's my first shoal bass ever. Mitchell confirmed shoal bass. Boom, folks. That's uh, that's knocked off the bucket list right there. Did you have the tooth patch on his tongue? What does that look like exactly? Let me see his mouth. That's how you tell if it's a spot. Rubbers. Got a little bit of spot in them. Gotcha. Those spots have this like really hard so feel his tongue. Ah. Uh, the hard spot? Yep, yep. That's a spot. Gotcha. But I think that's a hybrid. Okay. I dropped you by accident. See ya. Ned Rig produces once again, folks, with my bent hook, which I snagged 700 times. But uh, we're still slaying them on it, so I might as well keep it on. It's right in that current. Mitchell's told me to pitch up in that current. And. He was correct. There was one sitting right up on it. He missed one on the wacky rig, so it could have been the same one trying to eat twice, but who knows. There you go. You got this. Yes, Ooh, sir. You got a good one. Do I? Oh, it's a giant, dude. It's a giant. It's a giant, dude. If, please, 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 dude. I, I overreacted every fish, by the way, just for information. <laughs> oh my gosh, it broke me off. That's a big sholey. <laughs> they get in those rocks and they. Good. Two and a half, three pounder. Dude, that's a giant. I. Dang it, dude. That was a giant. Because I could see it like yes. flash my. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good shoulder. Dang, dude. He cut me off on those rocks. Son of a gun. They pull hard, don't they? That was a giant. Yeah. Yeah, they pull hard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a tank. Got it? Atta boy? Let's go, dude. There you go. Oh, Mitchell's over here just straight slaying him. I'm kind of navigating the water, per se. I miss a giant shoal bass. Um, and literally fought like a giant smallmouth, as Mitchell described it. But um, I'm having fun. So basically, the the adjustment that I made, I was throwing the five inch linker log, and on the wacky rig spear point hook. That first, I don't know if that was the fish that originally hit it. Right. Oh, well, there you go. Spot. Yep. Er, yeah. Spot. Yes, sir. There we go, folks. That's what we're talking about right there. Third spot for me. Mitchell just got blown it looks up. Looks like that same one that fit me. Yes, it does. It could be. Probably is. Who knows? These spots. Are... I'm sure this isn't a. Uh, uh, That's spot. Spot. Okay, gotcha. Just, just trying does to get my. Red eye? It does not. Okay, never mind. Yeah. There we go, eye. folks. My third spot of the day on the Ned rig. Mitch just got, he's using the Guggen Mini Filthy Frog. That thing's epic, by the way. I think that thing's awesome. And um, he got blown up twice by like the same fish. And it could have be been the one I just caught. Who knows? But he's getting some decent blow ups on it. And it's really overcast and it's on and off rain. So, you know, he should get bit on it a decent amount. And that one top water strike he had was, was pretty nice. So. Hopefully you can get one. 
snapped it. It's not bad. Not bad. Shoal? No. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, sure. These look pretty good. Boom. Not a bad one. My biggest one ever. Look how fat he is. Yeah, they get fat up here. There we go, guys. There's my first solid ever. First solid spotted bass on a net rig. Look at that belly on that thing guys. Look at that. It's pretty nice. There we have it folks. First one. Let me wipe it all off a little bit. First relatively nice one for me. Boom. Ready? I'll see you dude. Out here for about. Watch out. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> I saw that fly before my eyes. Well, I didn't even swing. I know, I saw. I saw one grab Oh, you saw it again. Yo, we've been out here for like, probably an hour and a half, I'd say, um, from looking at the GoPro time. But uh, we, Mitchell's caught about seven spots, I believe. I've caught two. I missed a shoal bass. But we're throwing Ned Rig, Mitchell's throwing a swim jig, and I've thrown the spinner bait, but I haven't got any luck. But the Ned Rig just seems to be where it's at. And I also had that shoal bass on that wacky rig. But Ned Rig just seems to be where it's at. That's a fish. Really? That's a small guy. <laughs> Ned Rig? That is a... That's a... Yeah, that's a shoal bass. Nice, dude. Yo. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, boy. Decent. Nice. Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's half decent, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Spot. I yeah. Think. That's why it's pulling so hard. There you go. Good job, dude. Yes. yes, sir. He swallowed it. He no, sure did. I saw that. Back up. There you go, dude. Yes, sir. Got him. Ooh, Got him. Yeah. Got a boy. Ooh, decent one. Nah, too big. He hit it right on the... That a boy? Spot yes, sir. Chatterbait. Jackhammer. Yeah, he ain't even that big. Oh, no. From the corner of mouth. That's why it felt so big. Gotcha. There we go, folks. Mitchell with another solid one. That's his eighth of the day, I think. Oh, yeah. On the chatterbait. We, we switched up to the other side of the lake. Um, or, yeah, I guess other side. It's down. Yeah, down. Okay. Need to know the terminology. But um, I'm using the frog, he's using the chatterbait. We were, you were using Ned Rigs and Wacky Rigs and uh, spinner baits, all at the other uh, opposite end, I guess. Um, but uh, we, we did catch a ton. We caught, I caught seven, nope, Mitchell oh, caught seven. That is a gigantic <laughs> Oh, really? You can barely see it. Yeah. Dude, he was like three foot long. Really? Hey y'all, thank you for watching today's episode. It was a fun one, none the least. Uh, we caught, um, I want to say, Mitchell, you caught about eight or nine yeah, fish. about. I caught about five fish. So like around 14, 15 fish total today, not which is bad. not too bad, especially for me being from New Jersey. 15 fish in a day is like unheard of. I haven't caught that many fish in a day and I can't tell you how long. But um, yeah, it was fun on the least, throwing a multitude of baits, spinner baits, swim jigs, chatter baits, uh, Ned rigs, wacky rigs, a lot of different stuff. Great time, caught my first shoal bass, mm -hmm. um, caught tons of spotted bass, and uh, it was a blast overall. So Mitchell, thank you for taking us out today. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Of course, and uh, hopefully more adventures soon um, enough on the channel. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe, and I'll leave Mitchell's Instagram link down below if y'all wanna go give him a follow, go check him out. Um, but we're uh, we're gonna go uh, probably get some lunch and then take a shower and yeah, it's hot out here. It is hot out here. <laughs> it's cool. But, uh, for sure. Y'all see calling my name. For <laughs> sure. Y'all, we'll see you on the next episode. Be positive. Just fish.